Raising chickens without feed, is it possible? Today I'm going to show you how you can do it. We do buy some mash, but we definitely supplement it with a lot of other things. With the rising price of grain at the moment, we have decided to double down on feeding our chickens more than just mash and working out ways that we can feed them for cheaper or even for free. Food scraps is probably the most obvious option and you do have to be a little bit aware of the amount of starch that you're feeding your chickens all at once. Chickens need about a 20%, maybe 18% protein and the rest of it is made up of minerals and carbohydrates. So the minerals, the main one they need obviously is calcium if they're egg layers and the rest of it is carbohydrates but if you're feeding your chickens too much gluggy pure carbohydrate like white bread in particular or oatmeal cooked white rice it will sit in their crop and it can cause sour crops so just be aware of that if you have a restaurant or a cafe nearby you or even sometimes the schools places that people are eating at they will often save scraps for you which are perfectly good to supplement your chickens with and if you're not able to get a hold of any mash or any grain your chickens will survive quite happily on them. Now we consider our chickens tiny little raptors and they really are dinosaurs. They will hunt, they will eat meat, they adore eating meat and if they're hungry or bored or too squashed in they'll even eat each other which is very unfortunate and obviously we try not to do that but it's just to show just how vicious chickens really are they are tiny dinies so you can feed your chickens cooked eggs or your meat scraps your leafy green veggie scraps and a lot of your vegetable peels they'll eat those as well avocados avocado pits they generally won't eat but they also shouldn't eat them because there's a chemical in them that's toxic but I haven't found a chicken that's decided to eat them on purpose yet. You can of course grow yourself a chicken garden. If you have some space around your coop you can plant in some leafy greens that are nice and hardy that are specifically there to feed your chickens. Whoa that sounds really bright. I'm gonna have to move. that's a wee bit better. So things like Swiss chard, we call it silver beet, kale, broccoli greens, cauliflower greens, even grass. Chickens love to eat grass. Any of those nice nutrient dense dark leafy greens they will just love. Barley fodder in particular has a 20% protein percentage when it's about seven days of leafy green growth and of course you can sprout things as well so even if you are buying some of the grains that are expensive, you can ferment them and the chickens will eat a third less or you can sprout them if they're whole grains and you can get twice the volume out of a sprouted grain than you can from a dry grain. And the upside to sprouting them or fermenting them is it releases a lot of the nutrients and the chickens will actually get a lot more out of them. Chickens actually love to find their own food and if you get yourself a nice hardy breed that does well foraging the Icelandic comes to mind however we've got hybrids they're known as different things worldwide I've actually found them wonderful foragers they love to get out and find their own bugs they'll dig for worms they'll eat flies just straight out of the air and of course they'll eat grass and weeds as well the trick is to keep them out of your garden so they're not eating the plants that you're trying to eat if you don't want to let your chickens free range, you can, however, nip around your garden, pick up the cabbage worms, anything eating your tomatoes, worms out of the garden even. If you've got a, a worm farm, you can grab a handful of those. They'll love those. Go out at night time and pick the slugs off your vegetables. And of course, any weeds or grass that you pull out of your garden as well, you can dump those out for the chickens and they'll have a grand old time scratching around through them. They're really nutritious for them and they won't be eating nearly as much grain. In fact, chickens left to free range, as long as there's ample food there for them, don't need grain at all. However, you will find the egg production drops off a little. You can also give your chickens your fresh lawn clippings and they will love rummaging through those. Just be sure that they haven't sat around for too long and started to decompose. They love them when they're perfectly fresh. Chickens make wonderful compost makers and you can make a compost heap within your chicken yard 
and add all your veggie scraps and all your leaf litter and all the different things in there. Chickens will thrive really well off plenty of compost and they dig through and they help turn it all for you and they feed off obviously the veggie scraps and the plant scraps and the bugs but also the microbiota that are in there they manage to with their little beady eyes manage to find those as well another option of course is to grow some of your own grains barley wheat millet and what else corn we can't grow corn quite so well here because it's just not warm enough but those other three grow brilliantly here and it can just be a matter of buying a sack of grain turning over some soil and throwing some seed around and then harvesting what happens at the other end and then you'll also have your own source of straw that you can use in the chickens beds as bedding or as mulch on your garden now to keep your chickens laying if you're not feeding them a normal layer feed is to make sure they're getting enough protein. So there are some options that you can do to grow your own protein at home. Chickens will happily eat cooked scrambled eggs and I know it sounds a little crazy but sometimes you end up with too many eggs or you find a nest and you're not sure if how old they are and whether you really want to be eating them. So that can be an option for feeding them protein. They also really enjoy eating meat. So getting scraps from butchers or even from doing your own butchering of animals, we often would throw the guts of whatever we were butchering in for the chickens to have a good pick over. Fish meal, blood meal, fish heads, scraps from when you've been making stock. Um, they will happily pick over the bones and get any little pieces of meat off that you've missed. If you've got traps set up, then anything you manage to trap, especially mice, rats, and even smaller other animals, Brewer's yeast is another one that we often forget about that is really high in protein. And then there's the option of growing your own insects. So, did I say? I think I said that wrong. Insects. Insects. I don't even know how to spell that word, so I don't know. Anyway, fly larvae. You can get a bucket. It's stinky and gross, but you can get a bucket, put something dead in it, drill some big holes in it, and hang it in your chicken house. The flies will come in, lay their eggs, the maggots will fall out, and the chickens will eat them. We personally grow mealworms because my daughter has got a bearded dragon that we feed the bugs to, so we do grow those. Um, and I am hoping to upscale that into instead of these tiny little set of drawers into some big sets of drawers so that we can feed them to the chickens and then of course if you have a worm farm you can give your chickens handfuls of worms and they will love you for it so i hope you found this video helpful if you have hit the like button maybe check out some of the other videos we have for you we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.